Spurious Regression by James Renner. Spurious Regression is a phenomenon in econometrics where one non-stationary series explains another non-stationary series extremely well, although there cannot be any causal relationship between the two series. Some common characteristics of spurious regressions include high R-squared values, high T-statistics, low standard errors, and P-values near zero. Examples of spurious regression include US crime rates on life expectancy in South Africa and per capita consumption of chicken on crude oil imports in the United States. For the purpose of this assignment, I'm going to regress Estonian gross domestic product on US population from the beginning of 1995 to 2018. Looking at the two graphs for each series, they appear to be non-stationary. However, we can confirm this using a Dickey-Fuller test. For the Estonian GDP, the test returns a Dickey-Fuller statistic of 1.41 and a p-value of 0.95. This means we cannot reject the null hypothesis that there is a unit root present. In other words, it is non-stationary. Similarly, for US population, it returns a Dickey-Fuller statistic of 1.37 and a p-value of 0.96. We can therefore conclude that our series are non-stationary. Regressing Estonian GDP on US population, we get the following regression results. Looking first at the R-squared value, it is very high at 0.896. Looking next to the T-statistics, they are also extremely high at 20.644 and 27.964. The subsequent p-values are zero. This regression appears to be a very good one, but how can the population of the most developed country in the world explain the gross domestic product of one that was behind the Iron Curtain up to 30 years ago? The Durbin-Watson statistic, which indicates autocorrelation in the regression, gives us our first hint that this may be a spurious regression, as the figure is almost zero, which indicates positive autocorrelation. Now that we have a suspicion that this may be a spurious regression, we can check the residuals to see if they are non-stationary. The plot shows us the residuals. On first glance, they don't appear to be stationary. However, we can check this using a Dickey-Fuller test. The Dickey-Fuller test returns a statistic of minus 3.23 and a p-value of 0.08. Here we cannot reject the null hypothesis that there is a unit root at 1% and also at 5%. The residuals are therefore non-stationary and we can confirm this is a spurious regression. The relationship is due to a trend governing the two series rather than a causal relationship. If the residuals were stationary, we could apply an error correction model to the series. To conclude, we can say that there is no causal relationship between Estonian GDP and US population, but rather a common trend. We must be careful in inferring relationships in non-stationary series, although R squared values and T statistics are high, as they are often a result of a spurious regression.